In this video, I just want to talk about a few things we can do with this Hello World program. And I want to give you a few tips for working with Visual Studio Code. Well, on my machine, the menu is called Code. It could be called something different, or this menu option could be somewhere else on your system, but you'll find it pretty easily. There is an option called Preferences. And in there, we've got an option for keyboard shortcuts. And it's worth getting a bit familiar with this, or at least having a look at it. So for example, if I want to duplicate a line, let's type line, we can see that there is a command for doing exactly that. We can, this is gonna look different on your system if you're using Windows, but on the Mac I can press Shift, Alt, and the down arrow to duplicate a line downwards, and you can also duplicate a line upwards. And there are lots of other useful commands that you can find in here by searching. And it's very easy to set your own custom commands. So you don't need to memorize these, but if you find yourself doing something a lot, some kind of editing action, it is worth having a look in here and seeing if there's an existing shortcut or if you can create one to an existing command. So let's try that out. I'm gonna just duplicate this line and you can do this just by copying it and pasting it or you can do it using the shortcut command. So if I save this and then run it, then of course it prints hello world twice. By the way, there is a peculiar thing I've noticed about PowerShell, at least on my system, which is that if I don't go through this step of modifying the file to be executable so I can run it just by typing the name of it. It actually fails silently, which is unusual behavior for a shell, and that can be confusing. So if you don't see any output and you're using Mac or Linux, then maybe you've just got to add executable permissions for it. But I can also run that, of course, like this. And you can put pretty much whatever text you want in here. Let's try that. So what I would suggest is that you try playing around with this really basic program. Just try putting more lines in there. Try putting different text between these double quotes and see what happens. You can put almost any text in here. So what we're doing here is we're calling the print function. So we're running some code called print, in other words and we're supplying it with a string. So in other words, a string of letters, some characters, and you can put more or less any character in here. There are just one or two things that might cause you problems. In particular, a backslash like that has a special meaning within Python strings. So I'm not sure what will happen if I try to run that. Well, actually it worked anyway. So Python's pretty forgiving with things that could go wrong. But maybe something like this, does that work? <laughs> it actually does, okay. So you can type more or less anything in here, but it's possible you could come across something that you can't type, but generally most things are gonna work. Another thing that I want to mention about Visual Studio Code is that it has this thing called the command palette. So on my system, this is in the view menu and I go to view command palette. And then let's type code in here. And I find this option shell command install code command in path. So things that are in what we call the path in your shell, those are commands that are accessible in the shell. Like for example, the Python command. So if I do that, then in my shell here, in PowerShell, I can actually open files by typing code and then the name of the file. So of course this is already open, but let's try closing it and do that. And you can see it works. And that's I find that really useful sometimes. But the normal way to open a file would be to use, well, file open, or use the Explorer here, which you can toggle with this icon. And you can see that there, I'm able to open hello.py and I've got this files.txt just because I created it.
but actually I'm not going to use this. And I can also delete it from here as well if I want. And of course, this VM directory that contains your virtual environment stuff, so you don't want to mess with that. This is a folder I've created. You don't need to create it, but I'm trying to reorganize the source code a bit so it's going to look nice when you when you finally see this. So at the moment, you probably only have hello pi present here, plus the VM directory. Okay, so have a go, create a few new, new lines, a few new lines of print statements, as we call them, and try putting other text in it and just see what happens. This is a free video from my course, Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides, then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.